Hello, and welcome to POMA Does, a podcast produced by the Pennsylvania Osteopathic Medical Association. We provide a voice for osteopathic medicine and share insights on issues important to osteopathic physicians, residents, and students, as well as those who embrace the osteopathic philosophy. POMA's mission is to promote the distinctive philosophy and practice of osteopathic medicine for our patients, our members, and the communities we serve. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, everyone. My name is Priya Krishna. I'm the current president of the Student Osteopathic Medical Association at LECOM Seton Hill, and I wanted to give a huge congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. All of your hard work, dedication, and late nights of studying have finally come to fruition, and you can officially call yourselves a doctor of osteopathic medicine as you begin your journey towards making a lasting impact in the lives of the people within your community. I also wanted to congratulate the new incoming class of 2027. It's not an easy task to be accepted into a medical school, and the whole process of applying and interviewing is nerve-wracking and mentally exhausting. But all of you have made it. So take the time now to cherish your achievement and be well-rested before the upcoming school year. I remember all the nerves and anxiety I had beginning my first year. I didn't know if I would be able to make friends. I didn't know if I would be able to keep up with the course load. And it was also my first time moving away from home, so I felt completely isolated. But as soon as I began school and met all my classmates, I realized that we were all literally in the same boat. And again, I was reassured knowing that no matter where you are in life, the people you're surrounded by and the people who you choose to surround yourself with truly defines your experience in anything you do. So some advice I would give you all is just to keep your head up high, try not to procrastinate and compare yourself with others, which again is easier said than done. Then I also think it's important to make friendships with people who have the same work ethic as you so you can all keep each other on track. What also helped me was being able to reach out to an upperclassman for guidance with and other questions I had regarding medical school. And although it is a long, hard road towards becoming a physician, it's definitely well worth it when you get to share all of the ups and downs of medical school with the friends that you make along the way. So again, a big congratulations to the graduating class of 2023 and the incoming class of 2027. I wish you all the best of luck and success in your future. Hi, everyone. My name is Raylan Dorshad. I'm a second year student at LeCom Erie campus, and I'm the current SOMA president. I would first like to congratulate all of the class of 2023 for their accomplishments throughout med school. I am truly in awe of all you have done in your four years of schooling, even in the midst of a global pandemic. Thank you so much for being an inspiration to students like myself. You truly demonstrated how it is possible to cross the finish line and earn your degree no matter what's going on in the world. I cannot wait to have the honor of working alongside of you all one day. For the incoming first year students, class of 2027, I would also like to extend my sincerest congratulations as you enter this next chapter of your life. Earning your seat in school is such an important accomplishment, but it's truly just the beginning. Looking back where I was a year ago, I had no idea what was ahead. It was a tough and rigorous year. However, I can honestly say it was one of the best. My advice as you begin is to first take a moment to appreciate the trials and triumphs you've experienced to make to this point and remember that feeling. There will be days where you might find yourself comparing your journey to others. And that's something I wish someone told me early on is like, try to just silence those thoughts. As you begin your journey throughout school, it's really what you make of it. And your journey is unique. So get involved and do what you need to do to just truly be comfortable. Ever, what I have learned is that it's okay to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And for me personally, it was one of those moments where I grew most as a student, as a leader, but also as a person. So my challenge to you is while you're getting adjusted to your schooling and everything is to just step out of your comfort zone every now and then and see how much you accomplish. I wish you all the very best of luck and I cannot wait to see the impact you have on the healthcare community one day. Hi, I'm Sophia Clevin and I'm a second year student at the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. First, I wanted to say a congratulations to the class of 2023. You guys did it. Congrats. Now to the class of 2027. Welcome. You're about to enter an exciting new chapter of your lives. And before you begin this journey, I wanted to share with you a few pieces of advice that I got before going into medical school that I actually thought were really helpful. The first piece of advice I have is to make a list of your non-negotiables. So what do I mean by non-negotiables? In medical school, you're just not going to have as much free time as you did before starting. But you definitely still have time to do things. So I want you to pull out a piece of paper If you're listening to this right now, pull out a piece of paper, pull out a sticky note, whatever's close by, grab a pen, 
and write down something that no matter what, no matter how busy you are, you want to do every day. Ideally, it's something that makes you you, that gives you joy. So I'll give a good example. One of my friends loves to cook for herself. So every day, her non-negotiable is I'm going to cook a meal for myself. Doesn't matter how busy she is with school. Doesn't matter how much studying she's behind on. She's going to cook that meal for herself. And that's important time to set aside. Um, some people love to go to the gym and they say, you know what, four times a week, I'm going to go to the gym. Other people may play a musical instrument and they say 30 minutes a day, I'm playing this instrument. It's my decompressed time and that's what I'm doing. Whatever your non-negotiable is, whatever is important to you, write that down right now and make that a little contract to yourself so you can look back on it and make sure that you're trying to do that thing either every day, a few times a week, whatever you decide on. My next piece of advice is before you master something, you just have to pass. It's so hard to get all of this material at one time and feel like you have to know everything. You're going to have to know it for boards. You're going to have to know it for practice. And you're going to have to know a lot of it for exams. But you don't have to know everything. The first thing you have to do is just pass. So there's going to be time in your first year where you're going to be exploring a lot of different study strategies. What worked for you in undergrad, it might not work anymore. You have to allow yourself to have that time and that grace to maybe not do so well at first. You might fumble a little bit. And that is okay. Keep trying new things and figure out what clicks for you. And just because something clicks for one of your friends, that doesn't mean it's going to click for you. And that's okay. Give yourself that time to figure it out and adjust accordingly. It will click. And once it clicks, it's awesome. All right. My last and final piece of advice, and this is definitely the most important piece of advice I'm going to give you, is to find your people. Medical school is going to challenge you in ways that you haven't necessarily been challenged before. Not in a scary way, so don't get scared. But it is going to challenge you. And it's so important to have a group of people by you who can help support you along the way. I was so lucky that I found my people really early on. But if you haven't found yours, or if you don't find them right away, it's okay. Keep looking. You'll find them. I promise. But they're going to understand exactly what's going on. They're going to know the stress that you have because they're having the same stress. They're going to maybe know topics that you don't necessarily know. If you like to study in a group, you can study with them. There might be a topic that you are just naturally really great at and maybe one of them isn't so great at so you can help them out and vice versa. Having that group of people to support you emotionally, academically, socially is so so important for medical school. So if you take away anything that I've told you, any piece of advice, I think the most important one is to find your people. But either way, class of 2027, you're going to absolutely crush medical school. You got this. I believe in you. And congratulations on getting here. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Palma Does. Be sure to subscribe to Palma Does wherever you listen to your podcasts and tell your friends and colleagues to tune in. Learn more about osteopathic medicine and POMA on our webpage, www.poma.org and join the conversation on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube, or email us at poma at poma.org. We'd love to hear from you. Join us next time for another edition of POMA Does.